So we're 233 miles down the Colorado River in what's called the Lower Granite Gorge. We're in the basement rocks, the Vishnu basement rocks. And the Vishnu basement rocks have been contorted and squeezed in very interesting ways. And as geologists, we're trying to understand that process of how rocks flow in the deep crust in response to pressure and temperature. And one of the things we have to do is record <coughs> how the rocks have been squeezed, how the layers have been contorted. Originally horizontal rocks get folded and squeezed like an accordion sometimes. But as, as scientists, we have to record what we're seeing so that we can uh, publish it in papers, let people uh, know. I tell my students, you gotta call your mom and tell her what the orientation of these surfaces were after the deformation as a, as a record. So one way we do that is to measure the orientation of planes. And I think you can see that these dikes and the layering is, it makes these planes like this. So this book gives us an average surface. We've got to find, there's only one line on that plane whose orientation is horizontal. So that's, what well, you think that's about right? That's good. Okay, so let's put the cut button on there. We can find out exactly where the horizontal line is by using the bullseye level on the button and then reading the compass. It's already corrected for magnetic north. What's it read? 78 Sorry. degrees east of north. Okay, so we sometimes call that north 78 east or 078. So uh, we'll write that down. And now we need to find the amount of the dip. The dip direction is the direction a marble would roll down the plane or water droplet would flow. And with the clinometer on the Brunton, we can measure the angle of dip. It has to be perpendicular to the horizontal line, which we call the strike. What do you get? Maximum dip is 30, 38 degrees. So we had 078. 38 to the north. Yes. And that's the orientation of this plane. We're going to call my mom and let her know. That's what it is.